Hey, what's up treasure hunters? So I have been working to get this done for a while, but with all this craziness with this coronavirus and everything else, it has gotten pushed back. So I wanted to review some of the artwork that I found over the last month or so. And there's actually quite a few pieces and some of them are actually pretty cool. So we'll get into quickly looking at some of those and what caught my eye about them and why I made the purchase and what I paid for them. And hopefully some of the stuff I haven't even ID'd yet, um, but some of the other stuff I actually have already listed. So, so let's take a look at the different pieces and see what I found. Here's the first piece and I actually found two of these. There was a pair. I'll show you the other one in a minute, but this is a vintage um, silk, embroidered silk uh, from China probably mid-century, but it's very, very well done. You can see it's just a flower and a butterfly with, you know, a nice surrounding piece of fabric. These were, I mean, there's no artist or anything with these, but, you know, they sell for a decent amount. I got them for five bucks a piece. And for the pair, I think definitely I could probably get, you know, at least 80 to 100 bucks. So here's the second one. You can see the same you know, overall style, except this one has the same types of flowers, even as a butterfly also, but you can see this colorful bird. I have no idea what kind of bird it is, but for a pair, kind of cool. They're about a 12 by 12, I would say, maybe a little bit larger, but around 12 by 12. So should be an easy ship also. Definitely kind of different, so. I will see what I get for these. So the next piece I found, I thought this was really cool the way this is laid out. It's really wide, but probably only like six inches tall. And this is done by artist Alan Carter. Um, this is kind of his style. You can see there's a ton of white space, but then the barn is very detailed and it's cool like how he kind of use that negative space for the snow on the roof. Overall, it's really cool. This is, I mean, it looks to be an original watercolor and it does look to be signed in pencil. Um, but I've also seen very similar things done by him. So I don't know, I would have to look a little deeper into it. So the glass is cracked, but that's not a huge problem. But yeah, I thought that was a really cool piece. It would look really, nice on beam or something on you know that separates rooms or you know above something like a hutch or i don't know i'm not an interior decorator so <laughs> uh but yeah alan carter piece picked it up for five bucks and definitely should at least be able to make 50 off it even with the correct glass so this i picked up for like a couple dollars and this is actually a textile art, so it's like a woven piece. And it doesn't really look that striking or anything. It is pretty cool and pretty well done. But if I turn it around, it did have these names in 1825, 1870, and 1895. I don't really know who these people are or anything, but if this is that old, really old woven pieces or samplers or needlepoint usually sell for a pretty good profit. So this is one of those things I got to look into. It's very unique and different. So I'll see what comes of that. I think there might be, it looks like a little bit of water damage to the top or maybe that was purposeful and it's supposed to be clouds. I don't know. I'll definitely have to look into this a little further. So here's a massive uh, limited edition print. And this was 15 bucks. And usually I have to be able to sell these for, you know, a good amount of money because these are super expensive to ship. This is titled Cafe Royale. It's number, numbered out of 750 and by Dan Maley. Mally, I don't know. 
but I did look this up online. These prints are selling between like four and six hundred dollars. Um, if you find somebody, obviously, that will pay for shipping, or I might just sell this at auction or something because that's easier than dealing with shipping this massive thing. Just like an old scene here with the horse and carriage, dudes with top hats, and it's got to be, I don't know, late 19th century scene or early 20th, probably early 20th or something. Pretty cool. 15 bucks, you know, take a chance on it. It's in super good condition and the frame doesn't have any damage to it. So I'll probably be sitting on this one for a while, but it's all right. 15 bucks is 15 bucks. And I know I should at least be able to get a couple hundred. So let's go on to the next piece. Obviously you know who this is. Portrait of JFK. This is really cool the way this is done. Um, I think it's an etching or it could be a pen drawing. I haven't taken it out of the frame because the frame's like falling apart. So I'm either gonna have to get a new frame or somebody can buy this as and frame it themselves. I did search this guy's name here, Dick O'Hara, and it was done in 1961. I didn't really find anything on him, but since this is so well done, I know presidential portraits, especially presidents that are, were so popular like JFK and still are, these sell pretty easily and for a decent amount of money. I think I paid eight bucks for it. There's a little bit of crinkling to the paper. I'm not sure if that's dirt or water damage a little bit or something maybe at the top, but either way, the portrait itself is in good condition. Um, it's not like all over his face or something. So I'll have to do a little more research on this, figure out who Dick O'Hara is, and then I can list it and hopefully make a nice profit. So this next piece is pretty cool. I really like, I love dogs, I have three. Huge dogs that drive me crazy sometimes, but I love them to death. And this is done by John Ruthven. Um, he's an artist out of Cincinnati. He does realistic animals and wildlife. And this is part of his sporting dog series. So you can see that up here at the top where it says sporting dog series. And this is plate one. This guy's name is Dusty. He's a golden retriever. And it's signed in pencil down here. This is a lithograph too. Um, and then it's numbered 909 out of 950. So John Ruthven actually on his website has a price guide. It's from 2017. Up there is, you know, what the original price it was sold for and then what the current value of it is. And that just depends on you know, obviously what the subject is, how many were printed, and everything. And this was actually valued in 2017 for $1,150. And I actually got two of these, and they're in oak frames. Not two of the same ones, but I have another, the plate two of the Sporting Dog series, which is, I'll show you in a minute, it's Rummy, and he's an English setter. And, uh... The value for that one's a little bit less. I paid 30 bucks a piece for these. Dog, like pet stuff and hunting stuff is pretty collectible, especially for like man caves and stuff. So I don't really foresee an issue selling these and at least making, I could even make like three to 500 bucks, I'd be happy. So I've listed these on a couple different of my marketplaces on the higher end to start. And if they don't sell, especially with this whole coronavirus thing, you know, people aren't going to be out rushing to buy giant pieces of art, but uh, it's is what it is. I'll probably sit on this for a little bit. And then once this coronavirus stuff is over with, I will see if, you know, I can get those higher prices. And if not, then it'll, you know, I'll just start knocking down the price a little bit. And here's Rummy, the English setter. Play two sporting dog series. So that's a good looking dog. Again, 
signed. This one's actually numbered in the same corner as the signature. But there's Rummy. Chasing down pheasants. See, I was... I contemplated whether or not I should get these, but in the end I just couldn't pass them up. Even if it was 30 bucks a piece, I know I can make a profit off these, so. So I hope you enjoyed those uh, pieces of art that I found over the last month. Um, if you have any questions about any of them or you wanna leave any comments, that'd be great. Just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, especially seeing that I have a bunch of time on my hands not being able to go anywhere. Please hit that like and subscribe button, click that bell, um, help me build this channel like usual, and I will see you all in the next one.